Today I'm going to show you how to mount the rear axle assembly to your Great American Dragster Derby Racer. What I've done so far, I have inserted my rear axle through one of the wheels. I am holding it in position by screwing one of the hex nuts onto the rear axle and tight. I'm tightening it with my tool against the rim backing plate. This is now your left rear wheel and your left rear wheel only. This is very important. So the wheel that you attach your rear axle to has to go onto the car from the left hand side only. I've inserted my two bushings but before I put the axle through I actually trial mount my crown gear a couple of times. It's going to be a little bit tough in the beginning. Move it back and forth a few times. Take it back off. Now it goes on easier as you try to mount it while it's on the car. <clears throat> so now we put the axle from the left hand side onto it. We mount the crown gear. I hold it in position like this. Line it up with a hole on the right hand side and push through. Whoop. There we go. Push through all the way. I add a hex nut from this side that's going to act as the hex nut holding the tire on. Now I take my second wheel where I already inserted the hex nut. I actually glue those down so they don't fall out as I try to mount the wheel and I mount the wheel onto the rear axle. I put it all the way against the hex nut and now I use my tool to tighten the hex nut against the wheel. The only thing that your right rear wheel does is adjust the play from side to side. Right now as I try to spin the wheels they don't spin. That means this is too tight. So I'm holding on to my left hand side wheel, hold it tight and then turn this back out to, imp to imp increase play. There we go. That runs nice and smooth. Now I move my crown gear to mesh with the pinion. I use my Allen wrench to tighten it once it's in position. A little bit of WD-40 in there will do wonders. And you're going to wind your car from the left hand side, from the left hand wheel only. You can understand that if we try to wind it from the right hand side it would just adjust the play, not actually wind the car. So left hand side is for winding and holding the car after you wound it. You put it on the ground and then you hold it, you can hold it with two wheels and then it goes. <clears throat> 